This is a CBS 4 News update. I'm Elliot Rodriguez with the CBS 4 News update. In the race for a vaccine, Pfizer says it'll ask U.S. regulators for emergency use authorization for a vaccine. Earlier this week, Pfizer and its German partner BioNTech announced their vaccine appears to be 95% effective. Pfizer also said it causes no serious safety concerns. Not far behind with a potential vaccine is Moderna, which announced its early results show their vaccine is 94 and a half percent effective. A lawsuit filed in Iowa claims bosses at a Tyson meat processing plant were literally betting on how many workers would get COVID-19. It was filed by the son of a worker who died from the virus. The suit also claims Tyson did not make workers social distance or give them PPE, causing more than a thousand of them to get sick. Tyson has not commented on the lawsuit, but says they are taking steps to keep their workers safe. This year's annual Give Miami Day was a record-breaking success, according to organizers. Thousands of dollars partic uh, donors participated in the annual 24-hour fundraising event for more than 800 local charities, including our own Neighbors for Neighbors. More than $18 million was raised in this year's event, breaking last year's record. And that's our news for now. You can always find us on CBSMiami.com and tune into CBS 4 News at 5, 6, 7, and 11 for all the day's important headlines.